The famed Mount Fuji in Japan is widely considered to be one of the world's most symmetrical active volcanoes. Yet, Mount Fuji has a major problem that prevents it from being perfectly symmetrical, with the culprit being its most recent eruption. As, between December of 1707 and February of 1808, a series of powerful explosions carved out two gaping craters on its southeast flank, the largest of which measures 1,500 meters long, 1,000 meters wide, and 125 meters deep. Because of this VEI-5 eruption which occurred more than 300 years ago, Fuji cannot be considered the world's most symmetrical volcano. Yet, in Russia, there is a volcano that few know about outside of Russia, a volcano with a near-perfect snow-covered symmetrical profile. This volcano is known as Klyuchevskoy, with this stratovolcano rising to a truly impressive height of 4,755 meters or 15,600 feet above sea level. With a base at only 229 meters or 750 feet above sea level, you might have guessed that Klyuchevskoy could have only grown to such an impressive height over many hundreds of thousands of years. Yet, what if I were to tell you that this 15 kilometer wide volcano and every single one of its flank vents all completely formed in the last 7,000 years? While this might sound like an absurd claim, it is in fact true. As, for every second during this volcano's lifespan, it has, on average, including times when it is not erupting along with times when it is erupting, emitted lava at a rate of 1.22 cubic meters per second. For context, this rate is absurdly high, meaning that Klyuchevskoy during the 7,000 year long period has erupted at a higher rate than the combination of Mount Merapi in Indonesia, Mount Etna in Italy, and Mount Stromboli in Italy. As a result, Klyuchevskoy has been near continuously erupting through its entire lifespan and is even erupting right now, at least as of the writing of this video. In the last 80 years, this volcano hasn't gone longer than a 24 month period without some form of an eruption occurring, and some of these eruptions last for several years, although most last for only 2-3 to three months. So what exactly is the secret to why Klyuchevskoy is so tall and symmetrical? The answer involves three factors. The most important of these factors involves the eruption of basaltic lava and occasional basaltic andesite lava, as both of these lava varieties have a fairly low viscosity. This allows the flows to quickly run down the volcano without stalling in place unlike what often occurs in several hundred foot high blocky andesite lava flows at a standard stratovolcano. Because of how fluid the lava is, it can quickly divert to areas of lower topography if there is an obstruction of higher elevation on its slope, allowing for molten rock to fill the voids and create a fairly symmetrical volcanic cone. You might ask, but wait, should volcanoes like Mauna Loa also primarily erupt basalt? So, why is Klyuchevskoy a stratovolcano? The answer comes down to gas content. Mauna Loa erupts basaltic lava with an incredibly low gas content, while Klyuchevskoy erupts basalt with a fairly moderate gas content. Because of this, much of Klyuchevskoy is constructed from asphalt and pyroclastic flow deposits, allowing for steep near 45 degree slope topography to form. Second, Klyuchevskoy's eruptions are almost always Strombolian in nature, involving intermittent ejection of bombs of lava in a several hundred meter radius from event, often occurring at its summit alongside lava flows, but sometimes instead occurring at flank cinder cones. Volcanian eruptions with pyroclastic flows have also occurred, along with subplanian and planian eruptions, but current records show that these never exceeded a moderate VEI-4 rating. This lack of voluminous explosive eruptions has prevented Klyuchevskoy from producing a calderic collapse and partially helped prevent a major flank collapse from occurring. And third, the subduction of the Pacific Plate underneath the Oktosk Plate has for 300,000 years kept the specific region of Kamchatka volcanically active, with seven volcanoes forming during this time span, four of which are still active. Among this volcanic cluster, the highest rate of magma intruding into the crust simply goes underneath the Klyuchevskoy volcano. Interestingly, Klyuchevskoy has produced dozens of cinder cones during its 7,000 year lifespan, but all of these have seemingly occurred in a 120 degree arc ranging from southeast to north northeast. One of these cinder cones in 1938 produced a lava flow from a vent 21 kilometers northeast of Klyuchevskoy's summit, sending a lava flow to within 6 kilometers of the town of Klyuchi. In all likelihood, Klyuchevskoy will continue to erupt at a high rate in the next few decades, continuing to grow in height, with its latest eruption having begun in June of 2023 and with more than 60 distinct eruptions occurring in the last century. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. 
Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.